I think the atmosphere at this sort of event is infectious and the young people here uh, gain so much from, from the atmosphere, from networking with other young people, seeing what's going on in other schools and seeing some of the fantastic displays and the industry and companies that are here today. So it's really bringing it all together as a focus for young people to encourage them to use science in the future. I knew I wanted to do engineering at the beginning of the year and I've definitely, it's definitely made me more interested in it, doing this project and coming along here and seeing what, like all the variety of stuff I could do. So I think it's, it's definitely confirmed what I want to do. It's really fantastic to be able to come to an event like this and see so many people interested in science. We are exhibiting a particle detector uh, designed to do anything below the subatomic level. What we're trying to get is that any kid can build this, that's the main message. We were talking about different types of engineering and what would suit me best and it just helped with the right path. I always thought of engineering as in like chemical engineering and civil but there's also like environmental and by doing that there's more job options for environmental and it seems more interesting as well. In school you just, you're copying things down, you don't get to interact with things as much but here you get to see things that actually happen. We had a problem uh, given by Sparrow as a crane company and we had to just sort of solve their problem for them. We get to apply the knowledge we have learned in school and an insight on what it's like to be an engineer and what it's like to work in the engineering workplace. I mean in the classroom is something that's confined to what the curriculum dictates but outside you know they can relate it to real life, they can look at industry and where what they learn in school applies to that so they can see it in a whole different context because right now all they see is a curriculum and they're just going through school plodding along, they don't really know where they want to go with it but as soon as it becomes apparent and relevant and you know they start to think about their careers it becomes more realistic and then they can take school more seriously, they can take science more seriously. Big Band Scotland is not only kids showing their amazing projects that they've been doing at school and people like myself on stage doing a whole range of you know, whiz bang and interesting science shows. You've also got real people from the industry out there. Those guys are actually here, they've taken a day off their work and they've come to inspire young people with the science, technology, engineering and maths that they do. How great is that that a kid can come along and actually speak to you know, an actual mechanical engineer or a meteorologist or, or someone who's making shows for BBC Scotland? We're a massive growing industry, there's constant innovation and the, the range of opportunities is just so vast for people to get involved in. So there's so many routes into engineering that we really want to get out there because, as I say, not just for Scottish Power but the whole industry, there will be a shortfall in 10 to 15 years. So we need to start now to really get that message out there and the Big Bang is a great way to do that. Well, I think the key thing is to try and bring STEM to life in engaging and exciting ways. There's an endless uh, range of opportunities and ultimately we are trying to encourage young people into careers in science and engineering at all levels, be it apprenticeships or graduate careers. I think the young people's impact on the future can never be underestimated and the importance of STEM, science, technology, engineering and maths is huge. They, they hold the key and I think all of us have this responsibility to engage, inform, excite and I think the Big Bang has offered that opportunity in bucket loads and they're going to take their own experiences from Big Bang into the future um, because they're just so on the cusp. They're teaching us new things every day um, a, a, as well as us being able to, to share a few of our older, older experiences with them. Yeah!